Hey guys, Marcos Viegas here, and if you have a chance to really get a, a grasp of what's going on right now as we stand by and wait for the press conference between Lucas Matisse and Danny Garcia starts. It's jam packed. It's filled with people. I've never seen this room filled up for a co-main event before ever in all the years that I've covered boxing. You would think this is for the main event that's featuring Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Saul Canel Alvarez. It's for these two guys and this fight is the one that a lot of fans have been waiting for for a very long time. The hard punching Lucas Matisse taking on the completeness that is Danny Garcia. Before we start, we gotta say, we know Angel Garcia is gonna go up on stage. He might end up stealing the show like he always does. So keep that in mind as we go ahead and hear from Danny Garcia, Lucas Matisse, and Angel Garcia. He's a WBC interim super lightweight world champion. He's from Trelu, Argentina. Please welcome Lucas the Machine Matisse. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. Eh, bueno, primeramente quiero agradecer a Showtime eh, por brindarme otro espectáculo más a Golden Boy y a mi empresa Dano Box. I once again want to thank Showtime for another opportunity, Golden Boy Promotions, and also Mario Arano Boxing. Eh, bueno, a todo mi equipo, eh, a, al equipo García por darme la oportunidad eh, de hacer esta gran pelea. I want to thank my team. I also want to take, thank uh, Team Garcia for this opportunity and all the people. Eh, bueno, me he preparado muy bien, así que bueno, muchas gracias por por alentarme y gracias que estamos. I'm very well prepared, and I just want to thank, let you know, I'm ready, and I want to thank everybody. We're ready to go. Gracias. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank Aoyemi. I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank Showtime for giving me an, another opportunity. And, um, you know, I had a great camp, trained very hard. Um, I'm really prepared for this fight. I did everything I had to do. I left everything in the gym. And come Saturday night, I'm going to have a, another uh, epic performance. You know, it's already my fifth championship fight. I'm starting to feel like a young veteran, man. <laughs> So I'm, I'm only 25 uh, years old, but you know, I'm a lot smarter in the brain now. I had a lot of tough fights. I've been counting, a lot of, been counting out a lot of times, but I always find a way to win. And uh, Saturday night is gonna be another epic performance by me. So make sure you guys come out, get there early, and enjoy a great night of boxing. Thank you. I'm, what I'm gonna say is this, here we go again. People still underestimating the champ of the world. Luke, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it simple and clean. Cause tomorrow, Saturday night, September 14, everybody wanna be Argentino, Valentino. Everybody wanna be the Argentine flags out. Well, they forget where they live at, USA. Danny's an American fighter. We represent USA, probably Latino background, Puerto Rican, cause I'm Puerto Rican, born in America. He's Latin American. But still, people still don't give the Americans no problem. The same country, the same one that send the welfare check to you. When the USA government send your check, you sign it, don't you? Then you be an Americanito. Then you want to be an Americanito. But at the same time, when all these guys come from overseas, with a 32 nothing, because he ain't got nothing. He fought 32 guys he was supposed to knock out. Then he fought 26 guys he was supposed to lose to. I want the best at 140. If he's called the best, because the best to me is Swift, I see all right, the champ of the world. Still, Saturday night is going to be the same thing like 26 other times, undefeated. If he thinks he's going to come here in America and get a title and just take it home back to Argentina where it doesn't belong at, it belongs in USA. If he's thinking like that, he's going to come here and hit Danny with a two-piece. He's in for a long half night. Listen, this ain't funny, man. This this is this, the, this, the real thing here. I didn't come here to intimidate nobody. I didn't come in here. I'm defending what's mine. And what's mine is the champ of the world. I worry about the champ of the world. They can talk all they want. They say I'm the most underrated coach there is. He's the most underrated fighter there is. But we still, we still got an O. And the O must not go. And the O must not go. Okay? The two. The two must add on. The two must add on. Three. <laughs> Five fans, as you just saw, Angel Garcia. The man stole the show here once again in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
talking up his son Danny Garcia, saying that fans and media aren't respecting his son enough, that he's the champion and he's not getting the champion's respect coming into this matchup with Lucas Matisse. Matisse, as always, as we've seen in all his interviews, reserved, short and sweet, promising to have a great matchup on Saturday night and even more, promising that he'll come out the new champion of the world that Saturday. Who's he going to be? Garcia or Matisse? We don't know. We've been waiting for a very, very long time to see t these two guys step into the ring with each other. And on Saturday night, we're finally going to get our definitive answer. One of these guys is going to come out the victor, though is it going to be a short fight or a long fight? We don't know. Given Matisse's knockout percentage, it could end up being a short fight. One of these guys, though, for sure, is probably more than likely going to end up on the floor. I'm going to be very surprised extremely surprised if this fight goes all 12 rounds and if it does I'll still be happy because this is a matchup I've been wanting to see for a very long time now we're gonna wrap up our things here today Thursday fight week tomorrow is the big weigh-in Floyd Mayweather Jr. Saul Canel Alvarez these two guys as well stepping on the stage keep it right here at the boxing channel we got you covered on all fronts we're working like dogs getting you the best stuff this week and of course the night of the fight so that does it for me i don't know what else to say but tune to the boxing channel and keep yourself glued to what we have coming up for you in the coming days